Hey guys, Lizard and Tosa here for Magnificent Wizard Day 47. Uh, so it's going to be a while before you guys get Day 46 because it didn't read the file properly or something. It, I don't know. YouTube is stupid sometimes. Like, so I, I started uploading it last night and it was supposed to be finished by this morning and then I get on and it's like, oh yeah, YouTube can't read this file. You're so helpful sometimes, YouTube. So as soon as I finish everything for this today, I'm going to resave day 46. And then tomorrow I'm going to save day 47. So yeah, it's just, it's so oi oi. Um I think I got if I can pull it out. As far as stitches go, ah, the first one, yeah, I need to start here and then I can make my way over because all of this is done. So I might actually move the fabric over a little bit before I start. Do you want to come up here and say hi with me, Pearl? Yeah, come here. Come here. Or go behind me where I can't reach you. Well, come here. Come here. Hi! Ready up! Meow! Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. What's the matter? Are you looking at yourself? You are looking at yourself, you little princess. Mm. <laughs> are you going to help me stitch? It might be a bit slow going today because my finger is still super sore from when I cut it on the puzzle yesterday. <laughs> or whatever the heck I cut it on. I don't know. So, mm. But, uh, I don't know. I really want to stitch. It's only 8.23 a.m., so we're starting fairly early today. Hi, oh, baby. Hi, oh, baby. Yeah. You were purring so loud, but you look so upset. Huh? Is it because you know I'm going to be stitching? Huh? <laughs> you want to go to the bed? Oh, she's still on the bed. She's going over to get some food and some water. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go stitch now. What's that, Tess? You want to help me with the narration? Well, hop on up here. Yeah, come here. If you want to help me, hop up here. Or just keep staring at me. That's cool, too. Whatever, you know. What Disney animated classic features Pecos Bill, Johnny Appleseed, Little Toot, and Once Upon a Winter Time? I have no clue. In its original form, what was the only Disney film to be part color and part black and white? Uh, um, I don't know. Who is Cinderella with during the song, So This Is Love? So this is love. Prince Charming. She was at the ball with him. What animated character does Mrs. Darling refer to as the spirit of youth? Peter Pan. At Disneyland Park, what was the high-tech dance area known as? I have no idea. Melody Time, The Reluctant Dragon, with Prince Charming at the Palace. I like how it says, who is Cinderella with during the song? And then it, it also has to point out where she was. Like... That, that, if someone just said Prince Charming, I would give them that. Because that's all it asked for. It didn't ask where they were. Anyways, Peter Pan and Videopolis. In The Nightmare Before Christmas, who does Jack choose to lead his team of reindeer? Uh, Zero, his ghost dog buddy. <laughs> What Disney film took place at the turn of the century when the day the circus came to town was the biggest day of the year? Toby Tyler, 
Scandalous John or Rascal? Uh, Scandalous John? In what song from The Lion King does Simba sing about being king? Just can't wait to be king? Probably my favorite song from The Lion King. Oh, I just can't wait to be king. In the animated feature Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, who is the only dwarf without a beard? Dopey. In what city is the Walt Disney Television series Brotherly Love set? Chicago, Philadelphia, or Boston? Boston! I don't know. That's a really good band, though. His dog Zero, Toby Tyler, or Ten Weeks with a Circus? I just can't wait to be king. Dopey, Philadelphia. So I got three of them. Who is Dumbo's mother? Mrs. Jumbo. In Disney's The Absent-Minded Professor, how many times does Professor Brainerd miss his wedding day? One, two, or three? Well, if it's anything like Flubber, I'm going to go with three. In the song Feed the Birds from Mary Poppins, who urges people to buy bags full of crumbs? The lady on the steps. The Oh. They're hungry. Oh. Did, was she homeless? It was just the old lady with all the bird seed. Oh, man, I don't know. In the Touchstone film, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Lena Hyena's silhouette looks exactly like what other characters? Uh, that would be uh, Jessica Rabbit, right? That's the, the crazy lady that was freaking out over... Uh... <laughs> oh my god, what is the main character's name? Um... Uh... Oh my god, I don't remember his name. Oh, this is killing me. What subject does Jill Taylor study in the Touchstone television series Home Improvement? Cooking? Culinary arts? I have no idea. <laughs> Mrs. Jumbo, three times, the old bird woman, Jessica Rabbit's psychology. So I either got three or four, depending on how people look at that. Oh my god, what is his name? Like, I, I can hear all the characters saying his name in my head, and I can't think of it. I, I, oh, where is my Who Framed Roger Rabbit CD? Or disc, whatever. Eddie Valiant. Oh my god, I feel so much better now. <laughs> That's the one the crazy chick was, like, freaking out over. Okay, okay, I feel better. Uh, in the animated feature, Melody Time, who is Pecos Bill's sweetheart? Not me. In Disney's Song of the South, who advises Johnny that you can't run away from trouble, there ain't no place that far? I, dude, I don't know. In the Mary Poppins song, Jolly Holiday, who is near when your heart starts beating like a big brass band? Bert, Mary Poppins, or Mr. Banks? Mary Poppins. Name one of two stories by author Kenneth Graham that was adapted into a Disney animated film. Don't know. At Disneyland Park, what historical attraction is located in the Opera House on Main Street, USA? I don't know. Slewfoot Sue, okie dokie, Uncle Remus, okie dokie, Mary Poppins, <laughs> I got one right, I guarantee it, The Reluctant Dragon and The Wind in the Willows, the Walt Disney Story featuring great moments with Mr. Lincoln. Look at that. I only got one of them. Because there's only one I didn't completely guess on. Who convinces Pinocchio to smoke a cigar? Honest John, Gideon, or Lampwick? Uh, Gideon? I don't think it's Honest John, but I'm not sure if it's Gideon or Lampwick. Uh, I don't know. In the film Swing Kids, what must Peter do after he is caught stealing a radio? He must... What is it? Um, like, like, do time by helping the community... Community service? I have no idea. I've never seen this movie. According to the song Be Our Guest, who made sure the napkins were freshly pressed? That would be Mrs. Potts. 
What term does Disney use to refer to the group of designers, engineers, architects, and technicians responsible for creating the Disney theme parks? I have no idea. What was the first Disney theme park attraction to feature sophisticated audio animatronics? Uh, Lampwick. He must join the H.J., the Nazi Youth Organization. Holy crap. Mrs. Potts in Beauty and the Beast. Oh, look, another one that doesn't ask for more information, but puts it on there anyways. They are referred to as Imagineers and the Enchanted Tiki Room attraction. Oh, I love the Tiki Room. In the animated feature, Fun and Fancy Free, what is the name of the young bear that can ride a unicycle? Humphrey, Bongo, or Eugene? Bongo? Just because O-N is in there and that's really, really close to being one? <laughs> the Touchstone Pictures film, Dick Tracy, what is Big Boy Caprice's favorite type of nut? Chestnut, peanut, or walnut? Peanut, because I like peanuts. In the Jungle Book, who leads a patrol of elephants that sing of how they march in a military style? Captain Espino, Colonel Hathai, or General Timon? Colonel Hathai. Hathai, Hathai, him. In Alice in Wonderland, which character takes a nap in a teapot? Uh, the Dormouse at, at the, the tea party. Yeah, you know, with all the very merry on birthdays. At the 50s Primetime Cafe at the Disney MGM Studios, what member of your family prepares and serves guests home-cooked wholesome meals? Big Mama, I don't know. Bongo, Walnut, Colonel Hathai, the Dormouse. Oh, I didn't know Dormouse was only spelled with one O. D-O-R-M-O-U-S-E. I thought it was actually like door, like a door. Huh. And Mom. I was close but wrong. <laughs> In Pocahontas, what does John Smith feed Miko? Uh, was it just like a biscuit? I think it was a biscuit. In the Hollywood Pictures film The Rock, what famous island does a military team of commandos seize? Nope. In the song Jolly Holiday, holy crap, again, from Mary Poppins, to whom is Mary Poppins referring when she says... <sighs> She doesn't say that. Your sweet gentility is crystal clear. Bert, I guess? I don't know. What famous actor started at Disney as a child in the film Follow Me Boys, then had various adult roles in films such as Touchstone's Captain Ron? I don't know. At what Disney theme park attraction do dead men tell no tales? The Pirates of the Caribbean ride. A biscuit. Alcatraz Island, Bert, played by Dick Van Dyke. Oh, look, another thing that was not in the question. Kurt Russell, oh, I like him. And the Pirates of the Caribbean attraction. Woohoo! Who has asked for Pocahontas's hand in marriage? Oh, who has asked for Pocahontas's hand in marriage? Cocoum. In what European country was the Disney film The Third Man on the Mountain filmed? Sweden, I have no idea. In the Disney animated feature Hercules, what is the name of the song that Meg sings with the muses? I won't say I'm in love. That is my favorite song from Hercules. After, um... Uh, well, I, maybe that one is my favorite. My, and then my second favorite is, uh, oh, I don't care how far I can go the distance. Go the distance. I love that one, too. I love the one, the, the, the one in the Disney film, and then the, the one done by professional, was it like Bolton, Michael Bolton or something? So good though, so good. Name one of the two films produced by Disney that star actress Michelle Pfeiffer. Produced by Disney. Um, dude, I love Michelle Pfeiffer, but I don't know what Disney films she's been in. Like, I love Stardust. Don't think she's in that. The, uh, what is it? Batman Returns? Where she's Catwoman? I love her in that. Um, uh, <laughs> Grease 2. Oh, I love her in that. I want to cool 
rider, a cool rider. You see him? Oh, that was, oh, I love it. Um, dude, I don't know. I don't know. What cable television network was launched by the Disney Company on April 18th, 1983? Cartoon Network. I don't know. Cocoaum. Switzerland. I won't say. Oh, wait, really? It's not I won't say I'm in love. It's just I won't say. Dangerous Minds and Up Close and Personal. I haven't seen either of those. And the Disney Channel. In the animated feature, The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad, what is the name of the manor where J. Thaddeus Toad lives? Sleepy Hollow Manor? I don't know. In Touchstone's Pretty Woman, who does Edward jokingly say he found by calling 976-BABE? Is it Julia Roberts? Is it is it her character? I don't remember her name. <laughs> What song from the animated feature Pocahontas takes place as both the settlers and the Indians prepare for war? Savages! Part 1 and Part 2. We have the CD for Pocahontas, and that's what the titles are, is Part 1 and Part 2. Who plays Eddie Valiant? Mother trucker! Who plays Eddie Valiant in the touchstone film Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Christopher Lloyd, Bob Hoskins, or Danny DeVito? Bob Hoskins. Mother trucker! If I had just waited a couple more cards, I would have gotten my answer and I wouldn't have had to look at my disc. <laughs> Feels like the Aladdin thing at the end of the video all over again. Oh my goodness. Oh, my nose is killing me. In the Magic Kingdom, Kingdom at the Walt Disney World Resort, how many lanterns hang from the Liberty Tree on Liberty Square? Three! I have no idea. Toad Hall, Vivian, played by Julia Roberts, Savages, Bob Hoskins, 13 representing the 13 colonies. 13's my lucky number, so that makes me very happy. Oh, okay, so what I'm fixing right here, uh, I hadn't noticed that there were two different symbols in the area that I was on. There were three that were different so I had to pull almost all of them out to fix it and uh, it's a good thing I did because those other colors turned out to be like orange and they did not match with the, the light blue I was doing. Who are Mickey Mouse's two nephews? Mickey has nephews? Uh, I have no idea. I didn't know he had nephews. In Tombstone, what legendary actor plays the benevolent rancher named Hooker who agrees to take care of Doc Holliday? Okay, Doc Holliday is played by um, Iceman from Top Gun. I had such a crush on him. The, the, the benevolent rancher named Hooker. Yeah, I don't... I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Mm. What song from Bambi is about the musical qualities of a light spring rain? I have no idea. I've seen Bambi like once in my life, never again. What Disney animated character murders his brother? Eh, it could be Scar from The Lion King. Mm. On what Disneyland Park attraction did passengers travel through the world of Tron, Adventure, through inner space, people mover, or circle vision. Circle vision? I don't know. I love Tron though. Tron Legacy was good, you know, like like they had updated the graphics or whatever. But if you haven't seen the original Tron, you really should. Like I I I had so much fun watching it. It just it blew my mind. So totally recommend it. Morty and Ferdy. Don't know them. Charlton Heston. That sounds familiar, but I don't know. Little April Shower. Okay. Scar from The Lion King. And the People Mover attraction. In Alice in Wonderland, how tall is the caterpillar? Exactly one, two, or three inches? I, I want to say it was odd. One inch, I think. 
In the Disney film Bed Knobs and Broomsticks, on what object does Miss Price place a traveling spell? The bed knob on her bed. In the animated feature Hercules, who sings that he can find the place where he belongs in the song Go the Distance? <gasps> Oh my gosh, you guys, everything is just linking back today. Oh, I love it. Hercules. In the animated feature Robin Hood, what is the name of the young rabbit who receives a whole farthing for his birthday? I agree with Tessa's choice. You were right, baby. You're totally right. I agree. The original Disneyland television show was divided into what four realms? I don't. No. Exactly three inches tall. Aw, I was right. It was odd. And it happens to be my favorite number. Dang it. A bed knob. Hercules. Skippy. Oh, you were right, Tess. Oh, you're so smart. You're so good at this, baby. Oh. Fantasyland, Adventureland, Frontierland, and Tomorrowland. I almost said Fantasyland, but then I couldn't remember any of the other ones. So I was like, I'm not even going to bother because I'm probably wrong. But. Whatever. In the animated television series Bonkers, Bonkers D. Bobcat serves in what division of the Hollywood Police Department? The Vice Squad, the Toon Division, or Intunal, Def Intunal Affairs? The Toon Division? I really don't. I barely remember Bonkers. He, like, what was he, like a jaguar or something? He was some kind of cat, wasn't he? I don't know. Who tries to drown himself in a swimming pool in the Touchstone film Down and Out in Beverly Hills? I have no idea, but uh, Beverly Hills Cop starring Eddie Murphy is really good. <laughs> Fill in the blank. In the song Spoonful of Sugar, Mary Poppins says that in every job that must be done, there is an element of blank. Fun! Although, is that really in the song? Because she says, in every job that must be done, there is an element of fun. She doesn't sing that, but whatever. How old was Walt Disney when Mickey Mouse made his screen debut in Steamboat Willie? 26, 29, or 32? I want to say 32, because I'm pretty sure he was actually fairly old. But it could have been 29? I don't know. I have no idea. The Touchstone Television sitcoms The Golden Girls, Empty Nest, Nurses, and Golden Palace were all set in what city? L.A.? I don't know. The Toon Division. <sighs> Jerry, a bum, played by Nick Nolte. Ooh, I know who that actor is. Fun, 26, oh man, I was wrong, and Miami. Welcome to Miami. In the Donald Duck cartoon, Donald's Snow Fight, who battles Donald in the ultimate snow fight? Snowball fight, excuse me. Um, goofy, I don't know. In Disney's Treasure Island, who has dug up the treasure and stashed it in a cave? You know how long it's been since I saw Treasure Island? It wasn't Blackbeard, was it? Dude, I don't remember. <laughs> Which heroic Disney character sings of how every mile will be worth my while? How does this keep going back to Go the Distance? Dude, what? That is awesome. It's Hercules and Go the Distance. These cards are just... They're reading my mind today, you guys. I love it. What famous literary character is Toby, the dog's owner, in The Great Mouse Detective? Um... Charles Dickens? I, I have no clue, you guys. I don't know. What club traces its roots to the Fox Dome Theater in Ocean Park, California, back in 1929? No idea. His nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Because that's totally fair. Three against one, even if they're smaller. Old Ben Gunn. Hercules and the song Go the Distance. Sure. Sherlock Holmes? What? What? Fa oh, what famous literary character? Oh, I th for some reason in my mind I thought it was literary, like, author or writer. My bad. It's the Great Mouse Detective. He was based off Sherlock Holmes. I'm a dumb dumb. Sorry. The Mickey Mouse Club. <laughs> oh, yay, yay.
Who is the voice of Captain John Smith in Pocahontas? Didn't I already get this question? I don't remember. I don't remember. In Disney's Song of the South, Johnny... <sighs> Distraught over his father's absence, runs away from home. Who agrees to run away with Johnny? Br'er Rabbit. I have no idea. What three Disney animated characters from The Lion King sing Be Prepared? Does anybody actually sing in that song? <laughs> it's uh, Ed, Bonsai, and Shenzi. The, uh, the, the... What is the word I'm looking for? The hyenas. There we go. I mean, technically, Scar is the one who actually sings, I say with air quotes, that song, but whatever. What heavenly factor do actors Harry Morgan, Christopher Lloyd, and Denzel Washington all have in common? They've all played angels or God? I don't know. Heavenly Factor. I don't know. What Disney... Ch well, wait. Well, Christopher Lloyd was in Angels in the Outfield, right? So I guess Angels, because I don't know about the other two. What Disney Channel series is based on the animated feature Dumbo? Dumbo Circus. I don't know. Mel Gibson. Dang it. Yeah. <sighs> I wouldn't have guessed that. Who cares? Uncle Remus. Scar the Lion, Shenzi and Bonsai the Hyenas. Oh, that's right. Ed doesn't say anything throughout the entire film. Okay. You know what? You're right. I mean, I did say Scar, Shenzi, and Bonsai, and I just also added Ed. <laughs> they all played angels in films produced by Disney. Charlie and the Angel, Angels in the Outfield, and The Preacher's Wife, respectively. Dumbo Circus! Oh my gosh! I don't think I actually ever saw that show, but obviously the title kind of stuck in some way. Name one of the three caballeros from Disney's animated feature, The Three Caballeros. Pe Perry, was that one of them? Well, like, Donald Duck was one of them. Did he have a different name in the movie? I don't know. One was, one was Donald Duck. One was a bird. Or a parrot, and one was a different kind of bird? I don't remember. In the Disney film The Ugly Dashend, what kind of dog grows up in a litter of Dashends and thinks he's a Dashend? Is it pronounced da Dash Hound? That's how I've always pronounced it, but it looks like Dashend. Or Dachshund. I don't know. I've always... If, if that's what I'm thinking of, I, I've always heard it pronounced Dash Hound. Dash Hound. Uh, what kind of dog? Uh... I don't know, a wiener dog. <laughs> In The Little Mermaid, what song does Ursula sing to Ariel? Poor unfortunate souls in pain, in need. This one longing to be thinner. This one wants to get the girl. Do I help them? Yes, indeed. You poor unfortunate souls. It's sad, but true. What's up, Pearl? You're not judging me, are you? They come flocking to my cauldron, crying spells, oh, so please, and I help them. Yes, I do. Now it's happened once or twice. Someone couldn't pay the price, and I'm afraid I had to rake them across the coals. Yes, I've had the odd complaint, but on the whole, I've been a saint to those poor unfortunate souls. That is probably my favorite song from The Little Mermaid. Well, no, well, I really like Under the Sea. And I also like Part of Your World. It is definitely my favorite villain song, that's for sure. Oof. Oof. How was Ronald Miller, former executive producer and president of Walt Disney Productions, related to Walt Disney? It was his wife's brother? Uh -huh. At Tokyo Disneyland, what name is given to the themed land to traditionally known as Frontierland? Frontier Outpost, Western Land, or Wild Wilderness? Western Land? Donald Duck, Jose Carioca, or Panchito? A Great Dane, poor unfortunate souls. He was Walt Disney's son-in-law, and Western Land. I didn't do too shabby on that one. 
In Disney's The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, who tries to scare Ichabod Crane with the tale of the Headless Horseman? Pete Pendergast, Brom Bones, or Sly Skeller? Pretty sure it's Brom Bones, the bad guy. Who masquerades as a priest during D'Artagnan's D'Artagnan's D'Artagnan? Oh my god, is that how you pronounce it? I remember a few videos back I was like flipping out because I couldn't remember how to pronounce it. Is it D'Artagnan? Oi, I'm probably wrong. Anyways, who masquerades as a priest during D'Artagnan's impending execution in the Walt Disney Pictures film The Three Musketeers? Is it one of the other musketeers? I don't remember their names, so I got nothing. What song does Annette Funicello sing in the Disney film The Monkey's Uncle? I don't know, The Monkey's Uncle. Robert Redford stars as a television news producer in what Touchstone Pictures film? Dead Presidents, A Simple Twist of Fate, or Up Close and Personal? Up Close and Personal, because Michelle Pfeiffer was in that movie. Where did the first Disney store open in March 1987? California. Brom Bones. Aramis, the musketeer played by Charlie Sheen. You know, back before he went batshit. The film's title song, The Monkey's Uncle. Oh my god. Up close and personal. The Glendale Galleria in Glendale, California. Holy crap. Oh my god, you guys. There's only one that I got wrong. <laughs> What? Wow. Sometimes the most obvious answer is the right one. Who wrote the original Winnie the Pooh stories? Was it? I don't know. I don't know. How many theatrical feature sequels did Disney produce to the highly successful film The Love Bug? Uh, um, <clears throat> three? Beauty and the Beast, Cinderella, and Pocahontas? I have no idea. Oh, well, then you'd have four with the Lion King. Dude, I have no idea. In the Disney film In Search of the Castaways, what duet is sung by Maurice Chevalier and Haley Mills while they are stranded in a tree? Virtuosity or enjoy it? Virtuosity? Is it like being fortunately curious? I have no idea. At what movie studio did Disney chairman Michael Eisner work prior to moving to Disney? Paramount, Warner Brothers, or Fox? Warner Brothers? What two Walt Disney World resorts are themed to sports and music? Excuse me, music. I don't know. A.A. Milne, or uh, M-I-L-N-E. Three. Herbie rides again, Herbie goes to Monte Carlo, and Herbie goes bananas. Oh! It, it sequels actually to The Love Bug. Oh, produced. Oh, okay. I thought it was saying, like, produced because of. I misunderstood it. I would have been wrong either way, because, I mean, I mean, technically I was right because I said three. I just said the wrong movie titles, because I. I'm a dum dum who misunderstood the question. Again. Enjoy it. I was wrong. Paramount. I was wrong. Disney's All-Star Sports Resort and Disney's All-Star Music Resort. Wow. Some of these are just so unique and amazing. Which Toy Story character says he is from Mattel? Is that uh, Mr. Potato Head? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> Isn't that actually Barbie? <clears throat> I don't know. In Mary Poppins, who alerts Mary Poppins to the hysterical situation with Uncle Albert? Jane and Michael, Bert, or Andrew? Um, oh, who's up there laughing with him? Maybe it's Andrew? Because Jane, Michael, and Bert are all laughing with him, aren't they? But who the heck is Andrew? I don't know. I'm going with Andrew. In Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, what song does Snow White sing while she cleans the dwarf's cottage? Oh, what is it? I swear to God, you guys, I hate Snow White's voice. You don't 
don't understand. Like, I don't like my own, but I just, I cannot stand Snow White's voice. I would rather listen to myself saying over her. I oh, I can't stand it. Ugh, she's cleaning their whole place. The cleanup song? Is that what it's called? No, that's the title for when the dwarfs are with her, isn't it? I don't know. According to the Guinness Book of World Records, who holds the record for having received the most Academy Awards? Disney? Uh -huh. Disney's Grand Floridian Beach Resort is modeled after what historic San Diego hotel? I don't know. Rex the Insecure Dinosaur. Off. Rex has always been my favorite character from Toy Story. He's so adorable. Roar! <laughs> oh, Andrew the dog. There we go. Whistle while you work. Yeah, well... Well, she cleans their cottage. But doesn't she sing that with them? I don't know, whatever. Walt Disney, he won 32 Academy Awards. The Hotel del Coronado. Corona, Coronado. Coronado. The Hotel del Coronado. I swear to God, you guys, like, I don't know what it is, but like my go-to language for pronouncing something that isn't English is Japanese now. So like, it just, it doesn't work. <laughs> I'm in the U.S. where the second most widely spoken language is Spanish, not Japanese. <laughs> Name the seven dwarfs. All right, you guys. Happy. Oh, oh, I already win because that's the one I didn't remember last time. <laughs> Doc, bashful, grumpy, dopey, sneezy, and sleepy. Boom, seven. I got it. Ugh. In the Disney film Jack starring Robin Williams, how many times the normal rate of growth does Jack grow? Three, four, or seven times? Okay, so, by the time he graduates high school, he's already a very, very old man. And then in, like, elementary school, he's already a grown-ass adult. So, to go from maybe seven times? I don't think it's three. So maybe four or seven? I'm not sure, though. I don't know. According to the song, which Disney character is short, fat, and proud of that? Uh, it's not Winnie the Pooh, is it? Is it Winnie the Pooh? That is literally the only name that is coming to my mind right now. What actor stars in the D Disney television series Home Improvement and provided the voice of young Simba in the animated feature The Lion King? Oh my god, I had the biggest crush on this guy. Um, he, it's the middle son. Oh my gosh, he was so gorgeous. Um, something Taylor Thomas. Um, oh my god, he was so hot. What something Taylor Thomas? <laughs> I don't remember his first name. Uh, where at the Walt Disney World Resort can guests make music by stepping on beams of light on the floor? I don't know, but it makes me think of Big when they play chopsticks on the big piano. <laughs> Uh, bashful, doc, dopey, grumpy, happy, sleepy, and sneezy. Oh, I got them all this time. I got them all this time. What, what, what? Yeah. I hope this makes up for that time when I, I couldn't remember happy, you guys. <laughs> Four times. Winnie the Pooh. Oh, my gosh. Jonathan Taylor Thomas. There we go. I knew it was Taylor Thomas. At Image Works and Journey into Imagination at Epcot. What is the name of the whale that swallows Pinocchio and Geppetto? Monstro! That is a really good song by Meatloaf on Bad Out of Hell 3, by the way. Love it. So cool. What tribe does Sela belong to in the Hollywood Pictures film The Air Up There? Zulu, Cherokee, or Winabi? Cherokee, because that's the only one I know I'm pronouncing right. Or at least the way I grew up being told it was pronounced. For which touchstone film did the Beach Boys write and perform the song Kokomo? I can already tell you it's cocktail. Ooh, ooh, I love that soundtrack so much. Anyways, cocktail, beaches, or paradise? Cocktail, it's cocktail. In addition to playing Sister Mary Lazarus in Touchstone's Sister Act, what character did Mary Wyke's voice in Disney's animated feature The Hunchback of Notre Dame? 
Was she the female gargoyle? Uh, the one that was in love with the goat? What was her name? I don't remember her name, you guys. Uh, it was just the other day. I guessed, or I didn't guess. It was listed in the three, and hers was the one that I knew it was hers. Dang it, I don't know. Uh, what audio animatronics attraction at the Walt Disney World Resort was relocated to Tokyo Disneyland in September 1980? Is that the Tiki Room? <laughs> I don't know. Monstro, Winabi, Cocktail, Laverne the Gargoyle, and the Mickey Mouse Review Attraction. In Song of the South, who gets stuck in the tar baby? I, dude, I don't know. In what 1990 Hollywood Pictures film about a deadly breed of spiders does John Goodman play an exterminator? That's not arachnophobia, is it? And I saw, so I saw that movie, I watched it, and the entire time they, they were like trying to find the nest and they were like, oh, it's the barn. And I was like, you freaking idiots. It's in your basement. Like, are you kidding me? Warm and damp? Yeah. Go to your friggin' basement. And lo and behold, that's where the nest was. Whoa. Surprise, surprise. What was the name given to the series of music videos that aired on the Disney Channel? Music time! Uh, melody time, I don't know. What popular actress provided the voice for Esmeralda in the Disney animated feature The Hunchback of Notre Dame? <clears throat> um, uh, Demi Moore. Demi Moore, the uh, ghost. <clears throat> right? Pretty sure it's Demi Moore. In which Disney theme park is New Orleans Square located? That's another thing I've always wondered. Do, do most people pronounce it New Orleans or New Orleans? Because I hear both. And I don't know. Br'er Rabbit, Arachnophobia, DTV, Demi Moore, and Disneyland Park. Also, Br'er Rabbit. Didn't I, didn't I say Br'er Rabbit for a previous question on songs or Song of the South? I think I did. But I could be wrong. I don't know. And there is not enough time for me to do another card. So I'm just going to uh, talk about nothing for a few more seconds because it's almost to the end. And then you guys will get to enjoy the Aladdin thing I was talking about earlier <laughs> where I had to turn the volume down because I shouted and it was very loud and it blew the speakers out. Oh no! And that's going to be the end of Magnificent Wizard Day 47. I got quite a bit of work done. About 5 hours and 20 minutes. Woohoo! Oh, look at that. I started on the dragon, so he's getting more defined now. Woo! So, I am almost completely done with this page. There is just... A little a bitty bit down here and a little bit here. So that means I'm just gonna have this page left and the little bit that's here. Okay, so there's actually quite a bit left on this page, but you know, whatever. Whatever. I am what? Like I'm like three fourths of the way there, dude. This is awesome. All the I honestly, I'm actually probably further than three fourths of the way. Uh, well, no, because there is a lot of back stitching to do. But I mean, there's also a lot of open space on this page, especially with the background. So I'm excited. It's gonna be so nice. Because no matter what project you guys pick next at the poll, which if you don't know about, you can vote down below. I think it's like the first link I have. Uh, none of them have black fabric. It's going to be so nice. <laughs> what are you looking at, Pearly? 
<gasps> What's that? You were in the shot the whole time. It's almost like Lizzie planned that. But actually I didn't because Tessa was just laying there and I was like, oh, hey. Oh, yeah. My baby girl knows what's up. Oh, honey. Hi. How you doing? Um, so I close the next four nights in a row, and then I have a day off. I know, Tess, I know. I'm always complaining about when I have to close. I'm a punk. I, I know, I'm horrible. Um, but I, I plan on doing some puzzles during that time, because I really like doing puzzles. So much. <laughs> uh... So, I have filmed Magnificent Wizard Day 46, then I did Puzzles Day 12, and now I'm on Magnificent Wizard Day 47, but the order is going to be Puzzles Day 12, Magnificent Wizard 46, Magnificent Wizard Day 47, because 46, just, I'm going to, I'm going to do the narration on this, and then I'm going to go resave Day 46. I don't know why YouTube didn't immediately say like, oh, hey, this file can't be uploaded. Because then I could have just set it to resave while I was sleeping instead of uploading while I was sleeping. I, oh, it's so annoying. Oh, right, Pearl? <laughs> That's right. I need to do Disney. Let me grab the cards. Oh, I know. <laughs> Oh, oh, that was my lamp. Meow. We should get an Aladdin card. Because that'd be cool. Because, you know, lamp. Uh, I'm a horrible person. I'm so sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's the sun from Aladdin. <laughs> what are the chances <laughs> of I getting Aladdin? Oh, my God. Whatever forces were smiling upon me today, thank you. <laughs> oh, seriously, what are the chances? <gasps> okay, Tessa is playing with my hair. Hi, baby girl. <laughs> it's the song. What is my name? His name isn't Sultan, he's the Sultan. The Sultan of Agrabah. That's not his name, that's his title. But apparently his name is The Sultan. What movie am I in? Aladdin! Who is my daughter? Princess Jasmine. Oh, excuse me, just Jasmine. What city do I rule? Agrabah. Who do I like to feed crackers to? Iago! I got them all. And it was Aladdin. What? Like... What? What that? Oh. Oh, yeah. Ow, Tess, that hurt. You got a knot in my hair. Well, I have a knot in my hair, and you attacked it. <laughs> what are the chances? Oh, <laughs> oh that tickled. <laughs> Do you want to help me sign off? Meow. Yeah, come here. Come here. Ready up. Do you approve of my stupid lamp and then Aladdin joke stuff? Huh? I'll take your sentence as a yes. Oh, baby. You're so pretty. All right. So, <laughs> like, subscribe, share, comment. All that jazz. I was not going to hit you. Why did you, why did you back off like that? I was doing like jazz fingers, like jazz hands. Huh? And Tessa, I will see you in the next video. You went down. There you go. Bye bye.